Hello and welcome to our part 5 of video series on diabetes. I am Dr. Chhabi Mehra, Physician and Quality Head Rx Takes Healthcare Bangladesh. Today we will talk on the importance of diet in maintenance of blood sugar levels in diabetes. I like the word nutrition better than diet because nutrition means nurturing ourselves, not controlling. We all know that to manage our blood glucose levels, we need a balance of diet, nutrition, physical activity, sleep, and the medications that your doctor might have to give you. In nutrition, the three cardinal or most important points to remember or think about is what do you have to eat, when do you have to eat, and how much do you have to eat. Let's first talk about what should you eat in diabetes. Good news, you can eat most of your favorite foods, but in smaller portion, infrequently, choosing the right food and the portion size is the key. So our food usually is having vegetables, fruits, grains, protein and dairy. So what can you eat in vegetables? There are many many non-starchy vegetables, for example all squashes, bitter gourd, bell peppers, um, zucchinis, uh, tomatoes, onions, uh, cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli. There is a wealth of non-starchy vegetables that you can safely eat with diabetes. Regarding fruits, you can have apple, pear, papaya, berries, guava, jamun. For grains, you have to think about complex carbohydrates. What does that mean? Millets like jowar, bajra, buckwheat, rajkira. There is again sattu, uh, brown rice, quinoa. They all have low glycemic index. Try to create good recipes out of this complex carbohydrates and it will go a long way. In protein, lean meat, chicken without skin, fish, eggs, all dals for vegetarians, rajma, chickpeas, like black chana, they are all very good for you. And similarly for dairy, of course you have slim milk, low fat milk, you have cheese, you have paneer. Dairy has a role in insulin resistance, worsening it. And I generally tell my patients to stay low on dairy and to start introducing nut milks like almond milk or soya milk. Also in the proteins, remember to always enrich your diet with a lot of nuts. They have omega-3, omega-6s. They are very good for you in diabetes. What should you avoid or minimize when you have diabetes? In vegetables, the starchy vegetables, which are potato, green peas and corn. Fruits like mango, grapes and even the bigger bananas. Sugar and calorie dense rich foods like candies cakes, Indian sweets, beverages with added sugars like fruit juice, aerated drinks and some energy drinks. Blood glucose levels respond very well to a good diet routine. Eating regularly at regular intervals makes your body metabolize your sugars much better. Do not skip meals or fast because that might make your sugars go very low and you might get hypoglycemic and then your body tends to have extremely low or extremely high levels. Never binge on food, eat smaller portions frequently. One of the most common reasons why we see such poor control of diabetes in our country is fasting, late breakfasts, late lunches and late dinners. If we were only to regularize our times of meals at regular intervals, the battle is 30% won. The third and most important is how much can you eat when you have diabetes. So keeping your portions small and eating frequently does keep your blood sugar levels in control. When we take small portions, we do not overwhelm our metabolic machinery and we are able to metabolize those small portions properly and not convert them into stored fat. 
The two ways that you can look at your portions are number one is the plate method and the number two method is the carb method. So when I talk with my patients, I usually talk about the plate method because it's very simple. Just look at half, cut the plate into half and fill it with non-starchy vegetables. It could be cooked, it could be uncooked. One fourth of that plate should be having complex grains as I've explained earlier. And the other fourth, the last one fourth of that plate should have proteins. If you're a non-vegetarian, it could be meat, lean meat, fish, eggs. If you're a vegetarian, it has to be dal, beans, chana in any way. The carb counting method is a complex method which usually you have to work with your nutritionist to understand. People who take insulin before each meal also tend to count the carbs that they will be consuming in a meal. It is a very efficient way of knowing exactly the amount of calories and carbs that you are consuming and you can work with the amount of insulin you need to inject depending on the food you eat. So finally remember the three cardinal principles number one what to eat number two when to eat and number three how much to eat and if you master that your sugars will be in excellent control and your diabetes medicines will definitely come down. Thank you.